board. All right, Connor, glad you made it. Uh, nope, not that one. That one, okay. All right, so take a look at that first problem, number one. Tennis, anyone? Read the question and we're going to start working on it. So we're going to buzz through um, this one because it's a nice one. And uh, yeah, and then uh, if we have time, we'll do another one. And if not, I will just make a video for it and post it. Actually, I, actually that's what I think I want to do. We'll just do this one together, and then there's another problem I want to go over, but I will make a video and post that for you guys to watch, okay? All right, so we got a can of tennis balls. How many of you play tennis? Anybody ever play tennis? I used to play tennis. I used to play tennis. All right. I was never good. I hit stuff over the fence and stuff. It's not, it's not good. It's bad, okay? All right, so... and. Tennis balls come in a can. You guys don't want to talk like a, there's a can that tennis balls come in. And let's say that this particular tennis ball, uh, this particular can has an inside diameter of seven centimeters and a height of 20 centimeters, which means the can is in what shape, my friends? Cylinder. It's in the shape of a cylinder. And then it says um, the diameter of the tennis ball is six centimeters. We want to know how many tennis balls can we fit into one can. That's the first thing we're trying to figure out, okay? So now we know the can is in the shape of, my friend just said it, but we'll repeat it. It's only one the cylinder. It's a cylinder, right? So we know that this, when we talk about the can, we're talking about a cylinder. But when we're talking about a tennis ball, what are we talking about? Sphere. A sphere. Thank you. Whoever said that, thank you. So we are talking about a sphere when we're talking about a tennis ball. So if we're trying to figure out how many tennis balls we can fit into the can, we're obviously talking about volume. So how about this? We know the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h, and we know the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So if your last name goes from a through l, go get the volume of the can of tennis balls, and then M through S, you guys are gonna get me the volume of the tennis ball, okay? Okay. All right, so go get that, and then we'll, you know, that way we're working together, volume of the can, versus the volume of the tennis ball, okay? All right. La, 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 la. Da, da, da. Is that cafe mocha I'm having, you guys? It's delicious. Oh, I went a little heavy on the chocolate milk this morning. Look at me go. <laughs> mm. Somebody's got the volume of the can. I'm red to go. Uh, I got 769.69. That's what I got. Good. So 769.69, say cubic centimeters, right? So that's the volume of the can. Who's got the volume of one of the tennis balls for me? I got 113.1. 113.1, again, cubic centimeters. So we want to know how many tennis balls can fit into that can. How would we figure it out? Because that's for part A. So for part A, we're like, you know what? Let's get the volume of one can and let's get the volume of a tennis ball. And then if we want to find out how many tennis balls are going to fit into that can, what do you knuckleheads suggest we do? Divided by 113.1. Yes, that's right, Nick. We're going to take 769.69 and we're going to divide it by 113.1. And that's going to give us? 6.8. No, 6.81. 6.81. So which means how many tennis balls will fit in that can? Six. Six, Six tennis balls, because you can't have part of a tennis ball, right? Six tennis balls. That's a pretty big cylinder, right? Okay. So we got six tennis balls that'll fit in there. Um, hold on a second. get a little tired of that. All right, so six tennis balls. So now it says, what percentage of the can did the tennis balls take up? Because when you know when you put a ball in the can, there's always some space there, right? Like there's always space. So it's not like, you know, 
it's fitting in there. So if we wanted to figure out what percentage of the can do the, uh, do the tennis balls make up, right? How would we figure that out? You can multiply the volume of the ball by six and then make it out of a fraction. Who is Who had their Wheaties this morning? So we know that if we take 113.1 and multiply that by six, that's how many, that's the cubic centimeters that take up the space in the, in the can. Is everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. So we, if we were to do, so if we do 113.1 times six, we get, according to my calculation, 678.6 cubic centimeters. And that represents the balls, right? The tennis balls. So now if we want to find out what percentage it takes up, I heard somebody say we're going to do 678.6 and divide that by 769.69. Nine. Exactly. And then multiply that times 100 because that's going to get you. 88.2%. And what does it represent? 88.2%. 88.2%. So it takes up 88.2% of the can. And that kind of makes sense that, you know, it's going to, there's going to be some space left over. Does everybody agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So who, who plays tennis? Who's played tennis on a team? How many, cause I don't know if this, you know, cause it's saying, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Mr. Gans wants to ship those tennis balls to a summer camp he runs. You guys all know who Gans is. Does anybody not know who Mr. Gans is? He's legendary. You'll find out one day. Okay. So each shipping box, let's say is 35 by 36 by 22. And we want to know how many cans of tennis balls are going to fit into that box. Okay. So, we know that one can takes up, whoops, one can takes up 769.69 cubic centimeters, right? So if we want to find out how many cans will take up that box, if you're all with me, right? How many Five. cans are going to take up that box? What should we, what should we do here? Find, find the, the volume, volume of the box. box. Yeah, get the volume <laughs> of the box, right? And the volume of the box is going to be your, you know, area of your base times your height or length times width times height. So go and get me the volume of the box. 27,720. Good. Cubic centimeters. Good. So that's the total volume of the box. So if I want to know how many cans I can fit into that box, I'm simply going to. You guys are in fuego. Can I just point out you were far more, you're far more um, engaging today than you were on Monday. What happened? Is it that it's nice out and you're looking forward to going outside after this? Is that what it is? Yes. yes. Right. You it's know what? so I'm warm out. With that. I am totally with you because you're right. I looked at the temperature. So how many cans can we fit in that box? 36. 36 cans of tennis balls will fit. Good. Awesome blossom. Um, cans of tennis balls. All right. So there's 36 cans of tennis balls, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Oh, now he wants to know how many boxes he has to order if he wants to get 666 tennis balls total. I'm going to let you guys figure that out. <laughs> let you guys figure that out. Hi, Adriana. How are you? <laughs> okay. How many boxes does he have to order if he needs 666 tennis balls? Yeah, my internet's on, my internet connection's unstable, like me. <laughs> four. I heard somebody say four. Yeah, I said I got four too. Yeah, you have to round up, right? Because here's the thing. Like if there's 36 cans of tennis balls that in one box, right? Each can has how many um, tennis balls? Six. Six, right? So, yeah. so in each can, so one can equals six tennis balls, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we have 36 cans in a box, we would just do 36 times six. Yeah. And that would give us 216 tennis balls per box. And then you would just take the 666. Why do you guys think I picked 666? Gans. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, so this has got to round up to four boxes so that way you actually have enough. Okay. Oh, this was a cute problem, wasn't it? I thought it was yeah. cute. 
It was super cute. Yeah, maybe you should go out and play tennis or play catch or something or throw a tennis ball against a wall. I used to do that all the time. I used to take a tennis ball and throw it against a brick wall and chase it, and I would throw it at certain angles, so I would have to run after it. You know, I didn't know how to use a racket to save my life. Like I said, I never learned how to swing a tennis racket, so it, it doesn't look good if you were to actually watch me. Hi, Caitlin. I think I want you all to say hi to, to me and to each other right now. It's like, that's what I need from you. It's Friday. It's a beautiful, like, this is probably one of the most beautiful days we're going to have. So um, the video that I am asking you guys to do is not due until Monday. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what? I'll make it Tuesday, so that way you can just go out and enjoy today. All right, I'll move it to Tuesday. I'll change the date to Tuesday because I'd rather you knuckleheads go outside and play. All right, mm -hmm. I don't care if it means you social distance and like you're talking to somebody 12 feet away from you and be like, hi, hello, 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 hello. Okay, all right, so we'll do that. Kim Canyon, what the heck is that in your background? How <laughs> <laughs> is that? Um. You even know, you don't even know. It's a meme. I have so many. I know you did. No, I know that's the office. And that one, what was that one that's before that? What was that one that you had before that? Did you guys get to play? I can't do this on mine. And I don't Look, Sichua, it's a dog in a forklift. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now it's a brass monkey. Get it? That funky monkey. Is that the Pope, Nick? Yeah. It is. He's so sweet. Yeah. No, Lucas, Brass you were too young for that. You've never seen that before. Oh, this? The yeah, bar you know what that is? That used to be when, um, like, at, at the end of programming, at, like, midnight, everything would just go off. Every, you know, TV would be like, please really? stand by, and that thing would, would come up. I remember That's that. That's funny. Yeah. All out. Yeah. Brass monkey. <laughs> He's that in the weeds. Look at, look, at, uh, look at Bradley in the weeds. So speaking of, we <laughs> speaking of the weeds, my cat's been chasing after all the, uh, the uh, chipmunks. So he's in heaven. Like he was chasing them all morning today. So you can't catch them because he's too fat. Uh, the raccoons are playing cards. The raccoons are playing. Who's winning? Is this, are I they playing bets? I mean, if I, 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 think, I think this one's going to fold. Yeah. He's like, nah, I'm folding. Doesn't like his hand. I don't like my hand. Um, so yeah. All right, good. So what I'll do is there's a second problem on here that I will make a video for and you guys can watch that and I'll post this, but say hi to each other again. Like even people you don't normally say hi to say hello. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, oh this is what I was thinking of. So you'll make the video due Tuesday. And since we're doing volume, maybe you guys should like bake a cake in whatever shape you want. I guess that doesn't sound exciting. No. I, I don't know what you're going to do. Like some challenge. people are excited. I got some bakers in this class, right? I have those like instant mug like cakes that you put in a mug. I love those I things. Those. That's fine. You can use an instant mug cake. I'm totally down with that. You can do that. I'm like fine with that. I don't have to do that. Really is going to come up with something delicious. You know, her food's good. Delish. I, so I just want you to know, uh, Julia, you know, given that I will be the next assistant principal at the Hills starting in, you know, September, well, actually July, um, I just want you to know that, you know, a chocolate cake like you made that last time is always a lovely gift to bring in. Just saying. All right. If you need to get Congrats. out of detention. Yeah, you won't Kim get out Brown. of detention. You'll just get the cake <laughs> in detention. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. I like that thing. Um, okay, so um, who am I going to see at three? Who's going to, who am I going to see working out at three o'clock? Only see Anna Bradley. Come on. And Lucas, you dissed me last week. I know. I'm going to go out. I'm going to get some sun. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll join the workout. Right. I don't know. Should I should I cancel the workout or are you gonna no. show up? Don't no. cancel, Tiana. You don't want me to cancel, right? Don't cancel. No. Don't cancel. I'm not gonna cancel then. Okay. For everybody else who's not going, boy, are you missing out. So, Bradley, you need and Sienna. Sienna, do you have weights, Sienna? Like yeah. dumbbells? Okay, good. Bring them with you, and then Bradley, go find like cans. Like, uh, you know, if you have that gallon of water, that'll work. Is there gallons of water in the house? <laughs> Brad yeah. has so many of those. <laughs> okay, bring bring um bring one of those or two of them if you can with you. Make sure it's full, okay? 
Okay. Because I can have you do something with it. You're going to do something like from the ground up like that and, you know, whatever. Okay. okay? Yeah. I think we're only going to do three exercises, 15 minutes, and we're going to be in and out. That's what I think. Oh. Okay. It's going to be a quick workout. We'll be, I swear. Yeah. Like, you got to join now. You got to join with this. I know. You guys, I'm telling you, it's fun. Lulz, listen to me, Lulz. You'll be in the best shape of your life. Aren't you a wrestler, you little shots? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Connor, I, I suggest you get away from your, you know, video games and come outside. All in order. Can I'm telling you. I've been been outside a lot lately. I went, I went on a walk with uh, my friend the other day. And it was really okay. nice. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. We were safe six feet apart, but, like, it was really cool. We had a nice conversation, and it was fun. But six feet apart is a good thing. Gabby, as pretty as your room is, you need to get out of it, okay? All right, same thing with you, Sienna, with all that bright lights. Get the hell out. Everybody, get outside. I love you all. Go outside. Yes. I love you.